Hey guys, what's up? This your guy Kia Shalante. Oh, what it is, or oh, what it ain't, what it's gonna be. Back with another motherfucking video. If you're new to my channel, what's up? What's good, baby? Yeah. And if you are a subscriber, thank y'all so much for the love and support. You know, yeah, girl, definitely appreciate it. In today's video, I will be doing a 34-inch deep wave wig install. And I know it's been a minute since I did a wig install on my channel. So, without further ado, let's bye. This is the wig. I ended up putting it on a mannequin head. But this is my first time purchasing from this company. The plucking looks the freak good. Yeah. I did kind of think the baby hairs was thick. If I take half of this. Like, Y'all see how natural more natural it will look this side compared to this side y'all get what i'm talking about i saw on tiktok they say use zigzag scissors so yeah i'm gonna use that to cut the lace i purchased me a transparent wig cap foundation that is the same color of my complexion this is juvia's place foundation stick i do see a lot of people use a brush when applying their foundation to their wig cap and i've seen a lot of people use a sponge to apply their foundation to their cap they say it's more natural the makeup is not cakey and i'm gonna try it because it does make sense especially being a makeup artist when you use a brush when it comes to applying makeup it's to add coverage and a sponge is used to give a natural finish and your makeup will look more seamless i love the sponge this is my first time I love it. It just gives a seamless, natural finish. And again, I'm a beginner, but the sponge is really eating, eating it up. <laughs> ready-made wig i pay extra for customization of bleaching the knots plucking the hairline and styling now i do love that this wig comes with the adjustable strap if you want to wear it clueless <music> And I don't want to mess it up because if I purchase a wig that is ready made, baby, I just want to slap that on and call it a day. I don't want to have to cut anything, tweeze anything because I'm a beginner and I don't, I don't want to mess up what I already paid for and I already don't know how to do it correctly. As I stated earlier in this video, this was my first time purchasing from this company. This is her Instagram, baby. <laughs> the wigs on her page eats, okay? She did a wig for Beats by Deb, and I fell in love with this wig. It is so freaking pretty. Anyways, I purchased this 34-inch wig for Cyber Monday last year. Child, mm. Mm. 
I did not receive the wig until January 23rd of this year. And I ordered the wig November 27th of last year. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, almost two freaking months. I ordered the wig for my birthday, which is January the 15th. Capricorn gang. We start the year off and we end the year. And that's why we the motherfucking GOAT, period. So when I ordered in November, I knew I had a month and some changes to my birthday. Her policy on her website stated 10 to 20 additional business days because of high volume doing the Cyber Monday sale. The standard shipping was three to five business days. On December 13th, I received the email stating the wig has been shipped and the tracking number was provided. I was super excited. I was going to receive the wig just in time for my birthday. <laughs> mm, I thought. This is where it took a turn. The USPS tracking number stated, shipping label created USPS awaiting item. I reached out to the customer service email on December 28th. They replied back with this. Y'all, I was so confused because the email stated the wig was shipped. However, comma, the tracking number was not updating on the USPS website. So I went to my nearest USPS store and they said it, they did not receive the package yet. Like, what? Tear me when I say this. I was very, very patient considering it's the holiday season. However, comma, the tracking number is still showing the same shit. I reached back out to the customer service email on January the 10th. My birthday is in five freaking days. This is what was said. What do you mean you do not have an update? Did I not receive the tracking number on December 13th? State and my hair is on the way. Y'all, I was so close to completing a chargeback with my bank. And I hate to do that because the company loses money. But baby, <laughs> hear me. I was losing patience. I did not have a new wig for my birthday, which I was so pissed about. Because I ordered the wig way ahead of time. And it was not my fault. On January the 17th, the company reached out to me and letting me know the wig is preparing to ship out and the existing tracking number was expired. How your customer service support don't know shit. Finally, on January the 23rd, I received the wig. This is why it's hard to support certain businesses. I had to wait two months and then no one had an update on my wig and then the customer service told me me the existing tracking number was expired and then your shipping policy on your website was false and then to put on your website no refunds returns or exchanges but what if it is your fault as the customer we have to just deal with that i'm going to be completely honest i don't know what it is i have supported multiple black businesses but i don't have the best of luck with them not all but majority it's always the customer service the lack of accountability, the timing, the communication, the quality, the attitudes. It's always something, very much something. And I hate that. I was satisfied with the wig. However, comma, for this to be my first time purchasing from this company, the process was ridiculous. And respectfully, I will not purchase again from her. But everyone experience is different. And for the people in the motherfucking bit. Don't get it twisted. I am not here to bash her company. However, comma, this is an honest hair review on my YouTube channel. And this was my personal experience. On a positive note, Erica J Products is that girl. This is another black owned company. And this was my first time purchasing. I purchased the sports wig glue, the adhesive skin guard, and the super melted grip spray. The shipping was fast. I received the products on time. The quality. Yes, the quality of her products is amazing. The glue dries so fast. And and this wig stayed on me for two weeks. And yes, I go to the gym and be sweating. Okay. 
Okay, comparing this glue to my bold hole glue, I was very impressed. This glue has my heart. I definitely will be ordering again. I also tried the Frontal Queen Lace Adhesive Spray. My first time purchasing, and I will be ordering again. The product arrived on time. It's the melt for me. I love it, I love it, I love it. They did not lie. It's giving laid and slayed, period. <laughs> and just pull some of the baby hairs to the back because they were so freaking thick and I did not like it. So now I'm just swooping the baby hairs. This looks more natural to me than the thick, thick baby hairs that was already on the unit. I love this mousse because it does not have alcohol in it. What I learned that alcohol can make your lace lift and we definitely do not want to put all this hard work in just for the lace to lift having soft baby hairs is just so freaking cute to me I'm still learning, y'all, when it comes to baby hairs, okay? So, don't be coming at me too hard. Your girl's still learning. Take these tweezers, get this hair right here. I'm so glad I end up making the baby hairs thinner. Because I feel like if it was thick, child, I feel like it wouldn't look right. Put on my wrapping paper. This is old school. If you know, you know. The wig girly just like, yeah, use this to mold your baby hairs. All right, y'all. So this is what the hair is looking like. I am completely done. Um, I did spray some oil sheen on it just to give it a little bit of shine. Um, I didn't want to put no mousse on it or no water because I wanted the hair to be big. And that was the look I was going for. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And your girl will see y'all in my next video. Bye!